Hello, hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. Today I need to do an arrangement in kind of a lavender theme. Um, so we're going to get started. I've got, you've not seen me work with this very often. This is called Lemon Leaf or Salal. Um, it is just a foliage um, and we're going to work with it a little bit. Um, I tell you, I don't work with it a whole lot because it really has a mind of its own. You can kind of see how it really, I mean, it really has a mind of its own. It's not like leather where leather does exactly what you need it to all the time. Um, Salal really has, has a different growth pattern. And so, I don't know. I don't use it very often. And... I thought we would try it. It's always good to change up a little bit. I'm just taking my floral knife and I'm cutting that stem at an angle and I'm tucking that foliage right down in to my base that has been filled with fresh water and a little bit of flower food to feed these flowers. Okay, so I've got my salal in place. I also have some spiral or baby blue eucalyptus that I'm going to use, but I'm gonna wait and use it um, towards the end. Next, I'm gonna come in with some hydrangeas. I have a couple of blooms of white hydrangeas, and then I have a couple of blooms of mini green hydrangeas. I'm removing the plastic from the hydrangea and any of that foliage. I'm gonna take that stem, cut it at an angle with my floral knife, and I'm gonna tuck it right down into the water. Now, I'm using these hydrangeas as um, mass flowers or weight, kind of just to give us weight down towards the bottom of the vase. I'm gonna pull this one out and cut it just a little bit more. So it goes a little deeper. There we go. Next, I'm gonna come in with a couple of stems of mini green hydrangeas. Now, mini green hydrangeas are really white hydrangeas that have just been cut in early state in an early stage. Um, but they really are so sweet. And I really love this pretty green color. All right, so I have my hydrangeas in place. Next, we're going to come in with a little bit of lime flower. And I have two separate kinds. I have some blue delphinium, and I have some purple or, or or kind of a lavender colored stalk. I'm gonna take my, my delphinium, I'm gonna cut that, in, that stem at an angle and I'm gonna tuck it right down into that base. I'm gonna take a second stem and tuck it in. And then my third stem, I'm gonna put, put to the opposite side and then I'm gonna tuck it in. Okay, so there's my blue delphinium. Next, I'm gonna come in with this pretty lavender or purple colored stock. Now this arrangement is um, kind of similar to one that we have online. It's called Lavender Dreams. I'm gonna add just a little bit more color to it, but, but that's basically the arrangement is Lavender Dreams. Next, we're gonna come in with a couple of lilies. Now, be sure that when you use a lily, pull the pollen out of that lily so that it doesn't stain the, the flower. I'm gonna take that stem, cut it at an angle, and I'm gonna tuck it right here in the front of this arrangement so that it's a pretty focal flower. This is a smaller bloom, so it's gonna come higher in the arrangement. Cut that stem at an angle and tuck it a little higher in that arrangement. Now the wonderful part about lilies is they're gonna open up gradually over time. And so slowly but surely your arrangement changes and gets some blooms open up and get large and pretty. Um, such a nice, nice flower to add to an arrangement. Also, it smells so lovely. Next, I'm gonna take these purple or lavender colored roses I'm gonna take a couple of stems of floral wire and I am going to wire these little heads. I'm just taking that wire and wrapping it right around that stem. Tuck it 
tuck that in. Remove any of those guard petals that don't look pretty. And I'm just taking this flower, I'm tucking a little wire into that stem and I'm just wrapping that wire right around that stem. Now I'll tell you these lavender roses really smell lovely. It's funny how some roses have a beautiful fragrance and others don't. So interesting. Take that wire, tuck it into that stem, put it in an angle, tuck it right down here. Okay. Now I want to show you a quick trick on, let's see. These lilies have a little bit of pollen on them. I'm going to take a chenille stem. A chenille stem is a pipe cleaner and I am just going to wipe that little pipe cleaner on that lily and what it's going to do is remove any of the pollen that is on that stem. It's a really good trick and it cleans up your lily. Okay. Next, I'm going to come in with a couple of stems of green button mums. So, button mums are, these are in the daisy family, but they're little tiny buttons. So, they almost look like buttons that would be on your shirt, on your blouse. I'm going to take and cut that at an angle. And I'm really going to use these little buttons as kind of a filler flower. There were a couple stems broken, so I popped those off. So I'm just gonna kind of mix those into this arrangement here and there. Remove any of that foliage that's on that stem. That one has a little broken flower. All right, and then as my filler flower, I am going to use blue thistle. Now thistle, um, I really like thistle. I love its, um, I love its texture. Of course, it's a pretty blue color, but it's just fun to work with. It get, it's just something a little different, and I like to use something a little different every once in a while. So as a filler flower, I'm gonna take and tuck in this little blue thistle, and I'm gonna take a second stem, and I'm gonna put it up high. kind of up there in the top. And so it's pretty on both sides. We have pretty flowers on both sides. Now to finish off our arrangement, I'm gonna add a little bit of this spiral eucalyptus. I'm gonna strip the leaves off the bottom. Now let me just tell you a little thing um, about this. This is the eucalyptus. Whenever you think of the smell of eucalyptus, baby blue is the eucalyptus that has the, that is very fragrant. Um, it is a little sticky. The sap from it gets your hands a little bit sticky. So just a warning. Um, my sister is allergic to, um, Robbie is allergic to eucalyptus. So it kind of breaks her hands out a little bit. So often when she works with baby blue, she will wear a pair of gloves so that it doesn't have her hands really broken out. So if you find yourself allergic to eucalyptus, it's usually this variety because it's, I have found that it's the variety that has the most sap or the most oil. All right, there's our last couple of pieces. Okay. There's our last couple of pieces, and there is our pretty um, lavender dream arrangement. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me this afternoon. If you have any questions about how we put this arrangement together or about anything with the flower shop, right. don't hesitate to ask those questions. We'll be happy to answer those for you. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you really soon. Thank you.